Hello everyone. Um, many of you are new to the club and some of you haven't learned from me anything like technical analysis or or the astrology that we're doing to time the market. So every now and then I like to do a video to show and demonstrate the process. So those of you, um, obviously I you know, I always ask if you know technical analysis and money management and everybody says yes, but it's still a good idea to kind of like go over the process so you guys have an understanding. Now on the weekends or early hours of Monday, I post, post the swing days for the whole week. And this was last weekend. I've posted this for the 24th to the 28th of June. And I've just actually recently posted um, next week's as well. And these were the swing hours for Monday. Now every day you're getting the swing hours, but this is posted on Monday, so you should make note of these days. Now why do I make note of these days? Because we don't have to trade every day. We should enter into the bias of our technical analysis on a good day where we're expecting action and we're expecting reversal or a good, you know, so it's either going to be a good move or it's going to be a reversal. If it matches our technical analysis, that's what we should do. So let's take a look. Gold. Let's start off with gold. So I said Wednesday and Thursday for gold. Well, let's let's do this. Let's just do that and turn this into a one-hour chart. This is where we're at. Okay. So I said Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday, the market nicely came down. All good. Makes a low. Thursday, we're right here. And if you think about your Thursday, if you look at your hours on Thursday, you would have noted hours around here somewhere. Just check your hours. You'll see it was like somewhere around here. Just kept pushing up. Now, because it's a swing day, all right, Wednesday, Thursday, the lows should be looking to buy. Why? Because on the daily, it's there. Now, what did we have? We had a tricky day that day. And I said, I'm not going to stand in front of a weekly press PST breakout. And I didn't. On a Wednesday, I had a sell position. On Thursday, I didn't touch it. Okay? It was just like, leave it alone. Why? Because I don't like to go against the breakout. And the day before, on the daily, it was okay to come down. And on Thursday, I can see the market did swing up. Okay? So, but the PST, I don't like to go against it. All right, so be mindful there. So that sell-off was okay on a Wednesday to follow through. On Wednesday, I could see it making a low right there. But, as you know, I also like to monitor my PST. So now what's going to happen? Well, when the market opens up, this red line is now going to be like that. And we're going to have a resistance here. If this resistance breaks that way, we're going to go into 69 as a weekly target, which is going to be 2,462. If that happens, then it's going to be up there somewhere. Now, Wednesday is a holiday. And normally, if it wasn't a holiday in the US, Wednesday would have been a really powerful day. And it still might be in London. We don't know. But definitely, I'll be checking it out. So, what am I trying to say here? If your technical analysis matches a swing day and an hour you can go in with a tight stop loss okay uh, if you're using ATAM and you want to let it go that's fine because that's what I do if I have a PST break down to the downside I'm not going to sit and buy unless the market comes to a decent place to buy right? euro dollar now remember with the euro dollar what did we have we had Monday, I think it was. Yeah, Monday and Friday. So on the euro dollar, come to the euro dollar. Let's turn this into a one hour chart. And make it a little bigger. Here we are on a Monday. Now, Monday market makes a high. Also, look down here. Market has gone down Thursday and Friday. So going up is also logical. And selling the high is also okay. Now, if you've learned technical analysis from me, as part of your training, you book this in. Plus, any wick that might happen to be on the upside. Well, on this side, but it would have been just that zone there.
okay market taps in and then goes down you can also do that on a four hour you can also you could have also done that on the daily too okay market going up that's your zone that's your Monday bar remember okay taking the body in the wick market comes up nice and easy Tuesday sell off now if you look at your Tuesday hours as well this was in the Asia session I think let's just double check might be in London too so that's your Tuesday there so then let's take a look at our Tuesday that's your Monday and the Monday was the 24th 25th is a Tuesday so on Monday you could have if that was a swing hour or on Tuesday the next day you're also in that tapping zone let's see what the hour was the high was 8.15 in the zone again 8.15 I had 9.40 alright there you go 9.40 so let's take a look at 9.40 9.15 9 whoops 9.40 is on that bar there okay and the market comes up a little bit and then crashes down okay so if you entered on that bar okay then your stop loss should have been just above there why because if it's a swing hour and if we got it right it shouldn't come back okay alternatively if you want to be a bit more conservative because it's gone a little bit you can use a smaller lot size plus put the stop loss above that high which is somewhere around there Okay, and that would have been okay as well. As you can see, that actually filled in the gap there and came to that zone there, okay, on the hourly. But on the daily, that was it. And as you know, you need to take the wick, if there's a wick on the other side, slightly higher, and that's that. So getting the swing day, you can wait for a re um, reaction, and then the next day on a swing hour, or a technical analysis you can do that too same with gold okay if you went in there we had Wednesday and Thursday you wait for Wednesday market comes in Thursday pushing up is okay right. now let's take a look at the I think it was not that one that one if I go back I had for the indices all Monday and Friday so all you have to do was look out for those days so if you go to SP500 let's take a look at SP500 turn that into let's just do this turn this into a one hour chart now that's your Monday alright so market comes down into your Monday goes all the way into Friday and does another swing down okay so all good okay market makes an impulse wave up okay on a Monday last week Thursday coming down Friday they take out the stops sweep everybody and push up okay? and then Tuesday that's your Tuesday that's your Monday all right so Monday Tuesday that sport holds retest Wednesday retest Thursday going up into Friday and that's basically it so you know Monday to Friday so if you get your swing days right you should get some juice out of the market and that should be you know okay same this is like with the indices let's take a look at Bitcoin while that's opening up I said for Bitcoin Wednesday and Friday and remember from the technical analysis videos as well how my bias is working out with this one um, let's do this let's turn this into a one hour chart now look this is the Wednesday right so Monday Tuesday market comes up Wednesday makes the high they sell off and what did I say I said if it comes up you should sell down okay and that's your Friday and look what happened Friday Friday market picks up nice and easy so if you're just trading on those days you're fine also even look this is Wednesday and a Friday even if you sold on Friday down as well because you know Friday is a swing day you've got to be mindful you have got to check 
where they're coming into all right and they're just filling in gaps loose ends and so on so just be mindful you know what we're trying to do here and also you know keep an eye out on your news as well so for example today is Sunday and I'm already checking out the news to see what's going on so we've got non-farm payroll Wednesday's a holiday but you still have announcements coming in okay Thursday oh sorry Thursday is a holiday not Wednesday okay um Wednesday it's a half day so Wednesday is good all right I thought yeah that's it Thursday is a holiday so Wednesday is actually a good day all right but it's a half day so you gotta be mindful so what I'm just trying to say is if you use the swing days and then accordingly the swing hours and then you've got your technical analysis matching your price then you're much better off trading and you don't have to trade every day and you've got no stress okay so you know your days it's all clean cut all right have a good one